guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering some questions that you guys had regarding my 75 hard challenge and uh, my results and all the fun stuff. I have gotten so many messages since I posted that I was done over on Facebook and Instagram so I just wanted to kind of make a video and tell you about my journey a little bit and tell you about myself a little bit just so you know my history and all that stuff about um, how how I how I did it this time so I've tried so first is my name is Sonia and I am a full-time home daycare provider and and then I also have a whole bunch of stuff that I do on the side from YouTube Etsy shop uh, and all the uh, blog and all the fun stuff in between kind of thing so uh, I have a lot going on on daily basis. I decided to do 75 hard challenge um, back in mid-September and I started it on October 1st. If you do not know what a 75 hard challenge is, it is a challenge that was all over social media um, and it is has a couple rules that you have to follow. You have to do two 45 minute workouts. One of them has to be outside gallon of water, uh, follow a diet, read 10 pages of non-fictional books, and no alcohol or cheat meals. So um, I have been working out consistently since April 2019, and I just know that date because um, I've kind of reached a certain point that I wanted my life to change. And I was doing really well, and then the whole world went upside down and so did my life a little bit um, and I lost that um, I don't know if it would be a balance or um, my eating has changed let's just put it that way I continue to work out but my eating has changed um, at the beginning of 2023 I've decided that's it um, my life like I need to dial my nutrition back get back on track and I did pretty good for the first few months of the year and then the summer came and things got out of whack and then um, in September I have decided that, that enough is enough and I did a, a total gut overhaul for one month um, it's called gut Pro health protocol is what I did and um, I just eliminated certain things out of my diet for the month and then reintroduced them just to kind of see what's going on, what's bothering, what's making me bloated, what's making me feel like poop. So I did that and then mid-month my husband has decided that he was going to do start 75 hard. So I thought, well, you know, it's always good to do it in when you have somebody else to do it with. Uh, I just wasn't ready to commit to it in mid-September because I didn't want to have to follow that such a restrictive diet for the rest of rest of for the 75 days so i waited until i completed the gut health protocol to start it so i have st uh, tried 75 hard i have tried 75 soft before i've lasted for 75 hard i lasted for about a month and a half i think and then uh, 75 soft i don't think i lasted it that was it was too loosey-goosey for me it wasn't too restrictive so i failed um so then this time i had just finished it um i started october 1st my last day on it was december 15th i have gone through october full of thanksgiving i'm located in canada uh, birthday parties baptisms um work related events and i had stuck to my eating plan. I followed uh, Portion Fix. If you're not familiar, Portion Fix is part of the Beach Body or Body as it is called now. And that is actually what I used for my workouts as well. I never stepped foot in a gym. I did it all at home. Uh, I do not have time to go to the gym because it would take me probably hour, hour and a half between travel time to and from. I, as I said, I work from home. I'm a daycare provider. Uh, my day starts at about 8, 8.30. So we, my husband and I got up at 4 o'clock every morning, Monday to Friday. We did 
sleep in till five o'clock on the weekends. However, when I say sleep in, I it, I've been getting up so early for so long that I wake up naturally even four o'clock. I wake up naturally on the weekends. I would sleep in till four thirty-five. Wake up naturally, but <clears throat> I probably stayed up a little bit later on Fridays and Saturdays, so I slept a little bit longer. So, um, and then we would go down and work out, do our 45 minutes, do our reading, and then we would take our dogs out for a walk for 45 minutes as well. So we kind of got all of, like, good bulk of that out of the, out of the way. Oh yeah, and another thing that you have to do is take a progress picture every single day. So I did, <laughs> I think this one was the hardest for me because I kept forgetting. I did put several alarms, uh, set several alarms on my phone just so it would remind me to remind myself. Also, I want to say that in this process of 75 hard, I had went from premenopause to I think menopause. Um, so I have that kind of working again against me and I was working through it a little bit. Um, kind of trying to figure out certain things. So um, I think I have certain things under control a little bit. Um, but um, I just I just want to say that you will always have obstacles in your way. It just depends on how much you want something. Um, the reason for 75 hard was the, the, the whole eating, but also it was to be to develop some sort of a discipline i had a routine i used to get up like i got up every morning and worked out for four years now um consistently i had no problem with that except on the weekends i would be so good during the week and then it would be free for all on the weekends and i know i'm not the only one that has this issue i know it's a common issue and i just wanted to dial that back in and be more in control over my weekends from drinking to eating like i'm not a big drinker it's not like i would get plastered every weekend but i do enjoy a glass or two of wine maybe friday saturday sunday right so i just wanted to kind of get gain control over how much i was eating my my workouts on the weekend i know you don't you're not technically they say you're supposed to work out every single day but i did active recovery on sundays which i did lots of not necessarily lots of stretching but lots of uh, restorative yoga and that has helped tremendously with the way my body was feeling so um, doing some sort of active recovery is good for you. Walking never hurt anybody if you walk every single day. Um, and so, so it had really helped in creating weekend habits for me. And that is what I was looking for. So when it comes to weight and how much I have lost. So since I started the... Um, 75 hard on October 1st. I have dropped 13 pounds in the whole month of September. And then I have dropped another 15 pounds from October to November to December 15th. But so many other things have improved. I have had more energy that I can remember. Uh, feeling so much more energetic. My sleep is Considering what I'm going through, very good. Um, there's occasional nights that I wake up due to uh, hot flashes and stuff like that, but generally very good sleep. And I love that I have created now some sort of consistency into the, into my weekends. Um, so my plan is to, to be off, not off of like, off off i'm still gonna follow my portion fix because i do believe portion fix is not necessarily a diet i think it's a lifestyle that you can totally follow and it just kind of controls your portions and once you learn all your portions you don't even need to use the cups anymore you can just you know kind of eyeball it but then i would always kind of um refresh my uh, memory of the serving sizes just so, to make sure that I'm staying on track with my portions. 
the sizes. Um, so I will be following that. I will be still working out. I might not be so stringent with 45 minute walk in the next two weeks because, um, you know, I'm still, I still have to take the dogs out for a walk, but I might um, do 30 minute instead of 45 and maybe one day I will do hour over an hour. It's just, I'm not going to be so focused on that 45 number. The working out, I will stick to 45 because I find for myself, 45 works. Um, it is what I need. It's when I see more results is at 45. So I typically do a half an hour uh, video and then I'll do, if it's half an hour, then I'll do 15 minutes on one of my machines that I have either a treadmill, bike or elliptical. Um, and then come January 1st, the plan is to continue with Live Hard. Uh, I am a little bit of scared of that cold shower for five minutes um, and the rest of it is the same and then you have to have some sort of visual visualization for a certain amount of time. I will link all the, the podcast and all that stuff down below if you want to check it out. Um, and um, one advice that I could give anybody, well, there's a couple of advices that I can give anybody who wants to try this is that you have to um, be prepared to do it. I wouldn't, wouldn't be, this wouldn't be something that you jump into, oh, I'm going to start tomorrow. You have to look at your schedule. You have to make sure you can schedule your workouts, you know, find what works best for you. For me, getting all that stuff out of the way, and then all I had left was obviously no cheat meals, no alcohol, uh, sticking to the diet and finishing my water was, was, uh, um, Made, made things a little bit easier. And as far as the water went, I have a 32 ounce bottle and I just knew that I had to drink two full ones and then I would have, you know, sparkling water with each of my meals and that would kind of um, get me to that gallon of water that I was, uh, I was aiming for. So having some sort of a plan how you're going to execute that, you know, having if you're going to start a new eating plan, then I would suggest making sure you are fully educated on whatever you're starting and that you have things for for your start, at least for a couple days, you know, so you're not failing right at the beginning because you don't have certain foods or certain ingredients or whatever it is that you need to do or you left some junk in your uh, cupboards that's calling your name. Um, so just be prepared for that. And another advice is find, finding some sort of an accountability. Sure, using an app is what I did. You can also find lots of different stuff online on Etsy shop. You can print out all of the 75 hard um, tracking sheets and all that stuff. You can, I'm sure you can even make your own stuff. But I use the app and I would just check everything off as, it, as I went. And... Um, that's good, but having an accountability partner, partner or being in a group where people are working towards the same goals, whether it's fitness, um, nutrition or whatever is very important. I do run groups regularly in my fitness gym. So if you want to check that out, um, I will leave a link down below, shoot me a message and I can send you some information if that's something that you are interested in. It, and it made a world of difference for me to have, A, I had my husband who was my accountability partner, but I'm also part of a group of women who are going through the same stages of life as I am and trying to stay on, their, on top of their nutrition and workouts and all that stuff. And that was tremendously helpful for me. So finding something like that, I, I strongly, strongly recommend. Um, now, as far as non-fictional books, I read mostly self-development books. Um, one of the books that I can, uh, that I, well, I have read several books in the, the two and a half month period. It was uh, Five Minute Rule um, by Mel Robbins, uh, Compound Effect. Um, I will link them all in the description box. Um, and then I read... Oh, gosh. I will link them all down because I'm having a mindset makeover and another one. There was one more that I read. 
um, so I can link them down below. But if you are looking for a great uh, starter book, the five second rule is a great one to start with and the mountain is you is another one. I will, like I said, I'll link all of that down below so you can check those books out if that's something that you're looking for. You don't have to necessarily read self-development books, they just can be fictional books. So you can read autobiographies, you can read business development books, anything anything that's not not that's not fictional. I read fictional at night so because I need just some fun, easy reading. So I I did my my personal development in the morning. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about anything, don't hesitate to comment down below. This is strictly my personal experience with it. I am not an expert in anything um, related to this. I just share what worked for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Let's